All right, people. I'm back. We're doing our Christmas um, opening presents, Christmas Eve. So, I made one gift for my wife. Now I'm working on another gift that goes along with it. I'm going to build a scabbard. All right, this one, well, let me show you what I made her first. Here's a knife that I made her. No, that's a knife. But she wanted a scabbard for it, so I'm working on it. I took a regular D-ring belt. You know, like uh, you wear board shorts and shit. D-ring belt. Just a little fabric beard shit or whatever. That's some leather working tools. And... Of course, I already put a button on there so she can snap it on and off her belt loop whenever she wants to. But I do need to cinch that so it doesn't come unbraided. I'm going to be working on that. So if you have a little bit of time and you're interested in this kind of thing, then you can watch me work. Come on. There we go. That's why I keep another glove handy. There we go. That shit ain't going anywhere. Boom, daddy. All righty. See, make sure I measured it right. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. All righty. I have a leather working kit and I got like rivets and stuff. And uh, this gavel will work better than a fucking spring court justice. Made out of plastic and wood, but I bang on that thing. I'm actually producing something instead of what the damn corrupt ass judges are doing and fucking shit up. Oh, yeah, you gotta have your wine too. Gotta have steady hands. And this thing, the whole puncher. I need to fix that. This is the leather I'm going to wrap it with. It's long enough. If it's not, no, that's long enough. I suck at sewing, so I'm going to rivet the whole goddamn thing. That, and it goes a lot faster that way. Right, there's that. If you wanted to sew the leather, you would uh, wet it first, let it soak overnight. But I'm doing rivets, so I don't need to do that. My last scabbard that I made, I actually did that, and I actually sewed it, and uh, it was like Frankenstein, because it's uh, sewing. I'm not a bitch. I don't know how to do that shit. I'm going to have a little bit further. I want all the rivets on one side. There we go. Perfect. Going to be good. And obviously the main point is to make sure it's on its fits. The knife that goes in it. I 
get the right. Do that on there. There you go. It's still a little bastard. This side is the outside part. Of course, people are going to be seeing, so it has to look pretty. I'm going to go backwards. It's a rivet, part of a rivet, back side of it. I'm going to do there. And when you get it to line up to the damn hole, there we go. There, and that's the end cap. This is a baby anvil for popping the rivets, basically. Set that down. Okay. And for rivets, you have to use the dish side. It's like a little... I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's kind of dished on this side, and it's flat on this side. So you use the dish side so you don't fuck up the finish on the rivet. Hammer. Hammer time. Boom. Now it's riveted. Now I just got to do it a few more times. Alrighty. Yeah. So many sounds that you never hear from again. And now that you lost tomorrow, it's yesterday still a friend. All the bridges we built were burned. My little hole puncher thing is kind of fucked up. We got bent because I guess uh, I squeezed too hard. Sometimes I forget my own strength, I guess. And it whooped the fuck out of it. But it still works. I took a note to self. Make sure that I trust my own strength before I do it. Otherwise, it's going to be too far. All right, let's go to the next of it. These things, they kind of like snap together like that. So, let me get my anvil again. Set on the flat part. Use a dish side on this pin. Pop another one in there. Not here we go. There it is. Oh, another whack. There we go. All right, there's two. Need one more, and I cut away the extra leather. 
and then they're gonna string uh with a strap through there because this knife is so damn big she's gonna have to like tie this part around the leg to hold it steady you'll see it in a little bit first i gotta finish doing the last fucking rivet on this thing You're doing stuff like this, always take your time. I always try to take pride in my work because if I didn't, then nobody would want it. All right. Last rivet. Kind of a pain in the ass sometimes to line this shit up. There it goes. Okay, pop the cap on it. Oh, I nice up on that later. Thing I had extra. Alright. Let's see the fits. Now you got to trim the extra leather off. I still got that part right there, but I have different color rivets that are going to go into that place. Oh, I could love. Hey, that's some shit. All right. Well, that works. And my scissors go. There we go. Oh, she tough shit. Fuck that. He's a damn knife. He's making it for her. It'll work. Scissors suck. Anyway. Yeah. Fuck you. Make this straight. Get back there. Perfect lineup. Pretty cool when you can use the same tool that you're making the sheath far, the scabbard far, and during the construction process. Fuck those scissors. Let's use a damn knife then. All right. 
Now we have two brass ones, but first I got to do this part. This part. Cut the excess off. I'm probably going to tuck it or. Oh, actually. Nah. Let's cut it off. Fuck it. I'll hand forge this for my wife, by the way. All I need is like one of those little lever drills. You drill, drill a hole in the bottom, need a hole saw, and then get a piece of exhaust tubing or something to fit in the hole. So you can uh, use a hair dryer to hook to it. That way, you keep it on the cold cycle because cool air is more dense than hot air. Once you blow it in there, then it's coming up through the bottom of it and it gets super fucking hot. Uh, I call it hellfire because it literally looks like that. It's ridiculous. But that's how I get the fire hot enough to forge steel. So my neighbors didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm like, what are you cooking? Steel. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, they don't know. But anyway. This is where this part comes in. All right, see where I, at the bottom here, so I can trim that. I trimmed it. Now remember, this is a D-ring belt. It's just like a nylon kind of D-ring belt, just average shit you always get with, uh, if you buy board shorts or something like that, sometimes they come with them. All I did was loop it. I just looped it to cover up the side of the blade and the rivets hold it together on this side. And I left a little bit of slack right there and that's what this is for. This is gonna go right in there. Just like that. That way when you're carrying the knife, this part snaps loose just a line snap. We'll do the same thing. You rev it in and you're just like the, I did the other rivets. Stick it on your belt loop. Snap it together. And then tie this part around your thigh. That way it's not flopping around all over the damn place. All right. I just got two more rivets, but I'm pretty sure y'all get the gist of it. So I'm not going to bore you any longer. I'm going to pop a rivet here and a rivet here, and then I'm done with it. So that's just uh, one of the few things that people can do with their hands. That's really simple, but it makes badass results as far as that goes. So y'all take care. And um, if you're going to practice this, just remember, keep the blade facing away from you and don't cut yourself or anything like that. Do anything stupid. Peace.